Hey guys, I gotta tell you, this is the uh, first motorized bicycle in Washington State that was built and licensed here, according to the authorities I talked to. Uh, perhaps I'm wrong, perhaps uh, someone else has done this without being a dealership, but uh, anyways, a lot of people want to know how to do this, and a lot of people are interested. So there's a link in the description of this video with a blog post that tells step-by-step -step videos, like all videos that are unlisted right now, they're going to be listed in August, but right now you can check them out early if you want to build a bike this summer and get it licensed, you know, and get going down the road. Um, Um, these are pretty cool now once the engines are completely uh, broken I guess they can get up to like uh, 30 40 miles an hour somewhere in there of course it all depends on the sprocket you put on the back you put a smaller sprocket on you can go higher speeds but you have less torque but anyways let's not get into all that okay uh, main thing here I just tell you this is like a $60 Walmart bike it's a Roadmaster uh, and uh, we got the little uh, engine kit there and you can do it, okay? But make sure before you do this um, that you read and wa read everything, watch the videos, and uh, you're gonna find out links to all the forms you need for the paperwork for Washington State and stuff like that. And you wanna make sure that you talk to the inspector and the people at the DMV office and stuff before you do this because um, they might require uh, different things than what I've got here but you see we got to signal light left and right Let's turn them on real quick so you can see them um, you're gonna need you know this is just the basic stuff obviously you can go more advanced in fact uh, these little engines can actually produce 12 volts and you can uh, run a whole system and I'll be doing that later on in the series um, I don't know how to do a license plate light without 12 volts because right now you know it's just hanging there so I, I don't really know how to do that but um, anyway there it is it starts and runs pretty good actually it takes a little while to warm up but uh, once it gets warmed up it uh, it runs pretty good and um, actually it runs pretty good even when it's not warmed up but uh, to be honest but um, anyway we got it all set up the really bright headlight and all that but yeah you guys want to know got a complete hardware list tutorial links to everything you need uh, I, I show everything step by step, even the guy putting the VIN sticker on uh, the bicycle frame there, which, you know, that kind of threw everybody for a loop because, I mean, even though the laws say, and I talked to him in advance when I showed up, the guy was like, or actually, no, right before I showed up, the guy's like, this is a bicycle. What are we doing putting a VIN number on a bicycle? I'm like, because the law says you have to because it's got an engine on it. And it's like, oh, okay. And, you know, they made some phone calls and figured it out. But, um, Anyways, uh, this is this is something I really want you guys to check out. Um, I put a lot of work into this, and YouTube, you know, is pretty much my primary source of income right now. So it'd be really awesome if everybody watched this and shared it. And the reason we're publishing this in August is because August is the most lucrative time on YouTube for people to watch videos and do ads and all that sort of stuff and gets the most exposure. So, but I figured I'd at least make this video and publish it now so you guys can see all the other videos and all the stuff ahead of time because it's, uh, you know, it's, it's August. I'm sorry, it's not August. It's, uh, it's April 2018. And, uh, you know, you people are going to want to see this. Now, just to prove this is the first uh, motorized bicycle that's built, uh, this one was done in March. Uh, 2018, 2019 is when it expires, 2018 this year, and um, got the magic stickers there, you know, so the cops are happy and everything, but yeah, I wish I could figure out how to put a little battery-powered um, license plate light on there, uh, unfortunately, I don't know, I don't know that it'd be a problem, because there's a lot of laws that um, a lot of authorities don't care about when it comes to mopeds. So, and that's what they classify this as. So, uh, you know, do some research on that. But, um, in any case, it works pretty good. And, uh, I've been having some fun with it. But, um, oh, by the way, just to let you guys know real quick, quick little tip, pro tip here. So, BikeBerry has, and you can find them in my list, they have these ready-made bicycles that have already got the sprocket and everything on them. Hello, everyone. We interrupt your broadcast 
to bring you Subscriber Bunny, reminding you to subscribe to YouTube and give to our Patreon and all of that wonderful, great stuff. Now back to your regularly scheduled video. Basically, all you got to do is stick the engine on and uh, they're pretty much ready to go. At least that's the way they're advertised. And those are actually safer and better because they got the disc brakes. Man, I'll tell you what, I had this thing up to 25 miles an hour. I got to a stop sign and there was somebody coming and oh my gosh, you know, I had to stop and it, I think I got stopped in like maybe, uh, I don't know, five feet or more, but all I got is the caliper brakes on here. So if you got, you know, the money to buy uh, one of those BBR bikes with the, or any bike, you know, that's got those. Now you can't just buy any bicycle for this if you're going to use the stock um, sprocket and everything. You got to have a 26 inch uh, wheels with the... Uh, uh, how's that go? You 26 inch wheels with, um, I think it's 30, a certain number of uh, spokes there. But all the information, all on my channel, all the, the videos and everything. So you need to go, you need to go check all that out. And um, each video has stuff in the description, but pretty much you just listen to everything, watch everything, you'll be fine, I hope. Um, but uh, yeah, go check that out. Make sure you watch the notice and disclaimer video before you take any of my advice um actually it's not advice it's a suggestion how's that um for you or recommendations or any of that before you do make sure you watch the notice and disclaimer that way you know i don't have to worry about uh legal issues or whatever but um i just want to show you guys it's a lot of fun and i got my nice little passenger seat there and my little uh legs that stick out for passenger i, I clean this up man i haven't cleaned this bike since i since I built it, um, I put a lot of grease on there. It's still flying off the uh, the uh, chain onto everything, you know. So I need to clean that. But you do have to have fenders. Uh, that's one of the things that they'll tell you, or at least they should tell you. You have to have the one. You have speedometer, odometer, um, signal lights, brake light, tail light, uh, headlight, mirrors. Um, what else am I looking at here that you got to have? I don't know. If they, they say wheels, I don't know why. They have, they have some funny little requirements that you're like, well, how do you have a bike without wheels? I mean, does it fly? I, I don't know. But um, <laughs> anyway, and uh, I use this awesome uh, brake lever up here that's got the throttle in it, the thumb throttle, and it's got a, it's actually got some wires to hook up for brake lights when I get 12 volt going on. So cool stuff. Um, but anyways, I put my kill switch over here, which they, you know, a lot of people put them over there because it's supposed to be part of, this is supposed to be part of the um, throttle mechanism, actually, that comes with the bike. But since I'm using this throttle one, I just put the, the kill switch over here because it's it's easier for me to, to push that and because I don't got as much going on over here, you know. And uh, over here, I got, like, constantly your touch and brake, you know, stuff shifting, whatever. And it's 18-speed. Um bike but uh yeah so how to build and license a motorized bicycle in washington state and uh, other states should be similar i know idaho uh there's people saying they're requiring uh license plates and vin numbers and stuff and into the whole problems i mean and technically technically you live in uh, idaho uh you should be able i'm not going to say you can uh you should be able to uh move to washington or whatever you have to do or maybe have a friend do it for you that lives in washington um, people have been asking me to, uh, build these bikes for them and obviously, um, thinking about it, taking everything into consideration, what I've learned, I don't want to be liable for selling a bike like this. Okay. Um, I'd have to, uh, make sure everything was in spec. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know. There's little things you learn afterwards. How's that? Um, that, uh, you got to do, but, um, that's what the videos are for. That's what the, the channel's for. That's what the the papers are for. That's why you call the authorities and ask them um, before you do anything. But it is a lot of fun. And if, you know, maybe you've never worked on an engine before. Maybe you don't know very much about uh, engines and stuff. This I think this is a great way to get started, especially two-cycle. Because two-cycle, at least I believe, is a lot easier to understand, um, to comprehend, than to uh, go after a four cycle. The other thing is the four cycles actually go slower. Um, they go about, uh, I think, 15, 25 miles an hour. And, um, but they do start out easier. This, you gotta get it up to speed before you can engage the clutch. Um, I think they do have ones with automatic 
clutch. I'm not sure, but I think there are some. But they've all got, got ones with electric start. I mean, pretty much anything. And uh, but yeah, so um, I think this is a uh, pretty awesome, a lot of fun, and I've still got a lot to do. I'm gonna be adding a uh, basket to the front, putting a 12 volt battery in there, so I can power all my stuff. And then I'm gonna be taking power power from the engine itself to put to that. But I gotta get this thing finished, getting this thing broken. Normally, you wouldn't see all these attachments on there during a break in, but interesting things happened along the way um, that kind of forced me into doing that. Um, and uh, it's just mistakes that I had to learn from. And you guys hopefully won't have to because you'll be able to watch the videos. Uh, motor mounts. Uh, motor mounts actually broke and had to fix that. And uh, that's something that BikeBerry, I think, is taking care of because now they're doing, they say they're doing 8 millimeter. You might want to ask them before you order. They say they're doing 8 millimeter studs on all their two cycle engines now. So that's no longer supposed to be a problem. So make sure you check with them on that. But that's what they told me. Um, mine came with 6 millimeter. And so we drilled them out to 5 sixteenths, no more problems. So uh, just things to keep in mind, things to do. So have fun, enjoy. God bless you, all that good stuff. And make sure you click the link in the description. All right.